Valtisetta in the Emilia-Romagna region of northern Italy, the construction site of the Valico bypass on the A1 motorway between Florence and Bologna. This is where Tata Costruzioni Generali is harnessing all of its 50 years worldwide experience in large public works. They built a twin tube tunnel and a large viaduct using the best technology and engineering available. They invested in human and mechanical resources. They accepted the challenge of building two tunnels among one of the most complex geological areas in Europe, overcoming a deadly enemy, the methane gas, trapped in explosive quantities within these mountains. This successfully organized project has given life to the Alio Viaduct and the Sparvo Tunnel, two masterpieces of engineering, tenacity, technique and human talent. public works made to the highest security standards in record time. Eleven months to carry out the excavation and lining of 2,430 metres of the north carriageway, just eight months for 2,600 metres of the south carriageway, 400 metres of maximum production recorded in one month only, 126 metres in just one week, and 24 meters in a single day. These are the extraordinary results achieved by the world's biggest and most powerful tunnel boring machine, owned by Toto SPA, with an overall cost of over 65 million euros and affectionately nicknamed Martina. As it bores through the rock, Martina simultaneously mounts the final lining of the tunnel. Martina was employed for the most significant and complex section of the A1 motorway Valico bypass between Florence and Bologna. The Sparvo Tunnel, an extremely complex and risky project, one of the most challenging ever attempted. For the Sparvo Tunnel, the Tartar Costruzioni Generali especially built the biggest mole in the world, equipped with an anti-explosive devices and a protective shield, a technological giant with an excavation diameter of 16 meters, weighing 4,500 tons, the same as 10 747 jetliners. This extraordinary machine allowed the tunnel realization in record time and according to the highest security standards. A 6,000 kilometer trip by land and sea. After the test assembly made in the German factories, the tunnel boring machine Martina was disassembled into 260 pieces and carried to the harbor of Kell, where the heavy components were ferried by barge down the River Rhine to the port of Rotterdam. Here, the components were loaded onto a vessel, circumnavigated Europe, passed through the Strait of Gibraltar, and arrived at the port of Ravenna. On special trucks and vehicles, Martina was carried overland for 135 kilometers from the Italian harbor to the job site, where it was finally assembled. Fifteen point six two meters in diameter, as tall as a five story building. 192 square meters of excavation area, cutting knives made of tungsten, an overall length of 130 meters and a total weight of 4,500 tons, Martina had to drill through particularly hard and excoriating rock. Martina is a very complex mega machine. Thanks to its high technology, it is able to bore tunnels with extreme precision, in any condition. Neither the hardest rocks nor water or gas can stop it. 
the progress of the work is controlled by a highly qualified operator in a special cockpit, equipped with specific monitors and computerized systems. During the excavation, the cutting wheel is driven by hydraulic rams contrasting on the pre-installed lining segments, dragging the rest of the machine. After an excavation of two meters, the machine stops and starts the new lining segments installation through a remote-controlled automatic system. After the end of the first carriageway excavation, a new challenge was waiting for the Sparbo tunnel workers. The rotor translation of Martina's approximate 4,500 tons was an unprecedented task, considered impossible even by its creators. The special movement was made in record time using an ingenious system. Inspired by the hovercraft technology, the engineers of the Toto Group, together with their specialized partners at Palmieri Company, conceived and built the Air Mover 3000 a colossal steel cradle floating on air. No crane in the world would have been able to move the 3,000 tons of Martina's cutting head in one go and in such a short time. First of all, Toto's engineers created a reinforced concrete plate of nearly 2,400 square meters, leveled off with laser. In order to avoid the concrete floor being damaged by the powerful jets of compressed air, Metal plates were placed and welded to the floor in order to create a huge armor-plated area, allowing the repositioning of all Martina's components. A system of 80 compressed air cushions, positioned under the special cradle, allowed the huge construction to literally slide over a thin layer of air. Right after the rotation, Martina was assembled again to proceed with the excavation of the second south carriageway of the Sparbo Tunnel. Using traditional systems, this kind of movement would have required at least eight months to dismantle and reassemble the machine again. The entire operation was instead achieved in the record time of just 15 days. The realization of the Aereo Viaduct was another big challenge for Toto Costruzioni, requiring an infrastructure of very high technological standards. The Aereo Viaduct was built with the balanced cantilever construction method using pre-stressed concrete with a design characterized by cross-sections of considerable width and a linear structure without the typical interruptions given by joints that appear along other bridges. The Aglio Viaduct is the most impressive open-air project of the Balico Bypass. The bridge consists of various sections built starting from the pillar. Each section of the bridge meets the consecutive one right in the middle of the bridge span. 600 meters of steel and concrete, characterized by a road surface width of 19.70 meters, 90 meters height from the ground, and 148 meters of maximum width between the spans. In terms of quality and technique, for its elegance and safety, the Aglio Viaduct is a shining example of large public works made in Italy. The strengthening of 62.5 kilometers of the A1 motorway between Sasso Marconi and Barberino represents an intervention solving major problems along this road stretch a high collective value project of primary importance for Italy. The Valico Bypass is just one of the major public works involving Toto Costruzioni Generali and its investments, with some of the world's finest talents and technicians, well supported by an extraordinary organization. Toto Costruzioni Generali, always committed where Italy moves ahead.